time. What's kind of been the key to, you know, you guys being able to respond when they start to put on the pressure? Um, it's all our mental. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing, the mental aspect of it. You know, like I said, like like you said, they're a team that's never going to quit. Up 30, down 30, it doesn't matter what quarter it is. And, you know, hats off to them for that. But the biggest thing is when you have a team that's always going to be aggressive, always trying to continue to fight, we got to be smart with the basketball. Um, too many times tonight, you know, I know we won, but too many times tonight, you get up nine, ten, we get careless. Um, I throw a cross court baseball pass, turnover, at least two or three. Um, we had another one where it was just a stupid pass. Like those are the, those are the things that you know, stuff. And we fixed it, we executed through it, and it didn't end up hurting us. But um, if you want to be the team you want to be, that's going to be the game, you know, for, uh, throughout the throughout the playoffs. So um, that's really what it is for us. Um, just continue to to be sharp mentally, uh, up ten, down ten, and go out there and do what we do. Sarah Todd, Deseret News. Don, there was that sequence in the fourth quarter when Mike came in, he stripped John ja Morant and then turned around and made a three on the other end. It was a huge momentum shift. He'd been kind of quiet through the night up until that point. What can you say about the way that he's sort of able to come in in those really high pressure situations and calm things down and be able to shift the game like that? Um, you know, just from the court, you know, on, on paper, he only had 11. So he knows, knows the game, knows the arena. That, that plays a big factor uh, for sure. And you know, his knowledge of, of the game helps, you know, understanding and studying guys in the scout report, knowing their movements, knowing when to be aggressive, when to, when to lay back. You know, I think that's that's why I always say, like, man, it's great to have Mike because, you know, he's out there helping me as well. You know, when he makes a move or he does something, I see it, you know, on film or I see it in, in live action. He's always kind of giving me little tidbits here and there. And I think that's, that's what he does for his team. Like, last game it was 20 and whatever. You know, game two it was – uh, 2015, like, you know, tonight was 11 and 7, but he had a tremendous impact. You know, he had one of the highest plus minuses in the game because he just ex he executes on both ends of the floor. He's a leader uh, on the floor and in the locker room. David James, KTV. Donovan, uh, Dylan Brooks was trending on Twitter big time during the game. Jazz fans were going nuts. And I'm curious if his players, the stuff that's happened with him, you just view it as kind of part of the playoffs? Or do you feel like some lines have been crossed and it, it does fire you guys up a little bit the way it fires up fans? Um, I love it. Um, simply put, you know, I, you guys, you've seen it through my career. I, I, um but that also goes back to what I was saying to Sarah about the mental component, because it can take you out of the game completely, you know, and I think the biggest thing is to stay sharp mentally and going out there finding ways to execute. And he wants to keep doing that. It's, it's cool. Um, I don't think we're really sweating. And the biggest thing is just got to stay locked in, and continue to go, continue to do what we do, and not really pay attention to all that. Sam Farnsworth, KSL TV. Hey, Donovan, uh, what – what would you – what's the feeling like tonight compared to last year or back in the bubble when you guys had that 3-1 lead against the Nuggets? Is that uh, at all comparable, or have you tried to move past that already? Same situation. Um, I think the biggest thing is we didn't come in the locker room like – we came in happy for the win, but we didn't really come in the locker room like, like we got one. Job's not done. Uh, it's not finished. And I think that's the message. I know that's the message. Uh, one through 17 and, and coaches and everybody. Um, we have to go there and, and, and take care of home court back at, uh, back in Utah. And I think that's, that's where our head is at. You know, this is a good win. Um, there's things we could have done much better. And we'll go ahead and execute that and take care of business at home. But, you know, it's, we've seen this before. We've been here before. It's just the exact moment we've played. We've played up to being this team that we've been, you know, because of that moment, I would say, you know, because that fueled a lot of,